I'm Emma from UK Family Vlog and today for Net Mums I'm going to share my secret tricks on helping to solve fuss eating. My first tip is about snacks. If your child is hungry at mealtimes they are more likely to eat whatever you put in front of them. Don't overfeed on snacks, keep it to a limit and don't overindulge in them. Being positive during mealtimes is always good. Having tension and stress and feeling anxious, your children are going to pick up on that and they're not going to want to eat their meals. Try not to fuss too much, perhaps leave them to eat what they want to eat. If they don't eat all of their meal, don't worry too much. As long as they've tried it and had what they want off their plate, that is really good. Perhaps even change where you eat your meals, maybe set up a tent, have meals outside in the garden if the weather's nice. Whatever makes your child happy, changing the environment, changing where they eat, how they eat, is can always be a positive experience. Tip three is about eating together. Eating with family is part of meal times. As much as possible, we'll develop good eating habits. Having children getting involved is great as they could set the table when they know it's time for say tea or lunch and it's great to keep them in routine. They know what time their meals are going to be so that's their job and they will create independence for themselves, it'll take less stress off yourself. Tip four is to do a making meal times fun. You could cook up some spaghetti and chop in a lo lot of fresh coloured foods such as ham, peppers, mushrooms, sweet corn, carrots, celery and they've got to dig around and try and find the jewels in their spaghetti and then give them lots and lots of praise oh well done for finding that one can you find the sweet corn and then they will want to try that as well and that's a happy experience that makes it fun brings the interaction in with yourself and your child too now i like making plate faces and using various foods so that could incorporate the hair the nose, the eyes, the mouth and the ears and they're great fun things to have the children involved with too. Encouraging children to get involved in the kitchen is great so they can start learning how to make their meals, learn basic skills, chopping vegetables, washing them. This can be brought in at any age, making it lots of fun where they'll want to be in the kitchen with you helping. Tip five is being inventive. Now I have divider plates. Now these are fantastic for fussy eaters. If they don't want their food being together, they're great for that as they are sectioned off and you can put a main meal, perhaps with a bit of salad or vegetables on another side and then on another bit it's got, you can put a pudding or something as a little treat for eating the rest of their meal. So it's not together and it's separated which some children prefer that. I also have bright coloured mats that we put out at the table which are their own personal mat and, and these are great because they're bright, they're more inviting for the table and they know where they're going to sit for their meal. So those are my top tips for solving fussy eating. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!